and welcome again to Debbie Rose online training. Today we'll be making a bridesmaid robe. That's the one the brides and the chief bridesmaid and the bridesmaid wear at the bridal shower. So if you have a wedding project soon, then you don't want to miss this tutorial. We want to make a bridesmaid robe. Okay, now we'll go to our fabric. I am using the bridal satin for this tutorial. I placed my pattern on the on the satin. Now remember that the the cheap the bridesmaids robe we see these days they are not long, so you don't place your pattern the full length. You don't place it on the full length. What you do is you just subtract some inches from the knee length, and then you just put that there. So you are going to be increasing the width of your basic bodies by two inches to three inches like that and then you don't cut the shoulder don't cut the arm o don't cut it out we're going to have a doorman sleeve here doorman sleeve is a cut in sleeve where you measure the sleeve into the bodies like that so i will show you by increasing the length here and then i also measure my doorman sleeve of eight inches Now, look at what I've done here. I marked two inches, two inches, two inches, two inches. Okay? And then, at the top, you can see that I just drew out the upper part, the shoulder part. And then I marked the armhole part here. So, this is my sleeve now. I'm going to be measuring from here to here eight inches plus 1.5 inches seam allowance or you can use two inches seam allowance and then we are going to be carving this place we're going to be carving this arm o point like this so by the time i cut i'll show you what it is like so you can see now this is what we have so this is the dormant sleeve D-O-L-M-A-N, dorman sleeve, cut into it. So we're going to mark from the shoulder here, you're just going to mark one inch down for your neck circumf um, sorry, for your neck width, length. Just mark one inch and then you cut out your neck there. Now you're just going to place the, you're going to fold for the back block this is open this is the back block now this has become our back block the front block is open so you just place your back block on the fabric you fold it again and then you leave one inch allowance at the center here at the center of the front and then you can slash it out if it's not slashed just leave one inch allowance here and then you are going to cut out the shape of the robe. So, I've cut out the exact shape of my of the back block, but I left the inch allowance there. And so you're going to cut the neckline. It's a V neck. You're going to cut that. So that's it. To get the So on the front, after getting your V-neck, you're just going to slam this out. And so you pin the shoulders together. You pin the shoulders together. make sure it's straight so i pin the shoulders together now we want to get our built-in collar the built-up collar the collar there so what you do is you show you sew the shoulders together sorry and then you're going to measure from the lower part of the opening you're going to measure like this all the way into the neck you're going to measure into the neck and then you go down again to the other opening like this 
So the number of length you get here will be the length of your collar, okay? And then you, the width of the collar will be four inches. So for the rope, for the rope of your, of the bridesmaid rope, you're just going to multiply your waist measurement by two, your waist by two, and then you cut out three inches for the band. So we're going to be sewing it like this. Okay. Thank you for watching. Now for our bridesmaid rope, remember that we pinned the shoulder you know, into the sleeve. So you're going to be sewing the half inch all the way into the sleeve on both sides. You're going to pin, you're going to sew half inch. Then once you're done, you can use the serging machine. You know, that's the weaving machine, the green one, to interlock the inner edges so that it's going to be a neat work. Okay, so now you're going to fold in two inches at the sleeve here. You're going to fold in two inches like this. And then let me fold that and show you how you sew it. Okay, so I folded, I folded two inches, you know, the allowance, I folded two inches. So you're going to just take in, make, when you fold, make sure you pin it down. And then you're going to just take in half inch at the edge. You're going to out, take half inch at the edge inside and you top stitch it down on both sides of the sleeve. It's looking beautiful already. So I've sewn the sleeve. So you're going to align the front on the back block like this. And then you'll be sewing in half inch from the sleeve, half inch into the side, straight down to the M line. You'll be sewing half inch down from the sleeve here. You sew half inch down. So now you can see that I've ironed, I've pressed everything, you know, I've ironed them. So now we're going to sew in our, our sorry our built up collar around the neckline i'll pin it round and show you what how i did it so you're going to get the center of your long rope that's the rope we're using for the collar we're cutting you know four inches by the length round so you notch the center and you pin it to the center of the neckline okay and then you're going to pin it all the way around the opening you're going to pin it all the way around and here too you pick the other side and you pin it all the way around so when I sew this I will show you the end result so I've joined the built up collar to it you can see mine has joining because my fabric is not enough so if you are going to buy, I used one and a half yards of satin for this project. So if you want to do yours very big size person plus size, you can buy two and a half or you use two, two yards normally. So you won't have joining on your collar. Okay, so this is it. This is it around the neck. So you use your surgeon machine, the weaving machine to just weave the edges round like this. Okay. Now I'm going to top stitch the lower, the M line. You're just going to be folding it in, you know. You fold in by one inch. You fold half and then half again. And then you're going to top stitch that around the M line. Then you take your rope, the rope we'll be using. You take your rope and then you sew in a quarter inch after folding the rope. You fold on the wrong side and then you sew half inch down or a quarter inch down so i've sewn i've sewn the rope now half inch here and then i sewed the meaning down so you're going to take your screwdriver and you use it in pushing out the rope to the other end so your screwdriver goes inside like this and you keep pulling you keep pushing it in so after pushing it, you can see I've turned it out. So all you need to do is fold in the edge here by half inch. You fold it in by half. 
and then you're just going to top stitch the half down i'll make it neat and then i'll show you now so now we've sewn we've top stitched on the edge that we folded inside and then i will show you how to fit it on your body using the mannequin so this is your bridesmaid rope for your cheap bridesmaid and your bridal train they are good to go for the photo shoots your bridal shower happy sewing thanks for watching